The Roland Merrick Handicap Chase is next. With a beat, it's a 0 to 120 in the S07 world. So we're three miles and one furlong. And at the top, we've got the Thinker for Martin Leedham. Andre the Giant, a winner last week for Matt Cooper, Velvet Curtain, Martin Leedham, Intercity, Craig Beckwith, Robin Kral, Padraig Hogan, and Tunisia for Matt Cooper. So a couple of trainers double handed out of the six. There's four trainers involved. One of them's me, so I'm talking to a, an audience of three. And away we go. I'm heading to the first. It's Velvet Curtain who's got the lead. That's probably Gray asking where the cons are. Anyway, they're racing down towards the first of 22. And over it they go. And all safely over it with Velvet Curtain. Better now as a hurdler, but checking her, taking her chances over chases all the time this season. Lost a bit of that speed. Three more speed that she had the sort of landed in grade one last year, but not quite up to that mark so far this season. Anyway, in the lead at the third, and all safely over it. Velvet Curtain then by a good four to five lengths to Intercity in second. And the thinker closest to us is third. So they get to the fourth. Fence is coming up thick and fast in this one. Robin Kral made a mistake. And past the big screen, past the winning post. Two circuits of the Weatherby track to go. We'll see flat racing now at Weatherby. Whether we have any flat racing from Weatherby in the league later on in the season. Probably one of those bonus races that we get later on from next week. Well, not next week, because we're off next week, but you know what I mean. The next racing week is when all the extra races tend to come in, so... Maybe we'll be back at Weatherby for a flat meeting. Anyway, it's the Velvet Curtain, who's five lengths clear of Stablemate the Thinker, who's two lengths clear of Tunisia, who's got Intercity on his outside, and then Andre the Giant just tucked in behind them and Rob and Kral the back marker as they take the fifth. Which they all get over nicely. Velvet Curtain continuing to bowl along in the lift. At the next ditch. Again, all over it well. Good jump by Intercity in particular. One's now showing in third place. As they get over the seventh. Once in real life this is a bit of a gold cup trial isn't it? One is a faller there, the thinker's gone. So that's the third race on the trot where the thinker has managed to get rid of the jockey. So the trainer might need to do a bit of thinking as they get over the ninth. We see the thinker in a hurdle next week. And it's Velvet Curtain in front, Intercity is second. Tunisia is third, Andre the Giant fourth, and then Robin Kral fifth. Although with three fours on a trot, you'd think he might be eligible to get back in the Hunters now. Anyway, Velvet Curtain's in front. Intercity is second. Tunisia third. Andre the Giant fourth. Uh, Robin Kral fifth. Five left. Of the six that started. And Velvet Curtain is clear in the lead. Ooh, ran straight into that one. So too did Tunisia and... Jumping is definitely of 0 to, 0 to 120 standard as they get over the next. I don't think there'll be many of these lined up in the Gold Cup come week 10. Into the next one they go. Velvet Curtain is a little bit ponderous of that one, but still leads by two lengths. To Intercity in second, Robin Kral is the one that's made a lot of good ground on the outside. He's now up into third and in fact jumped into second there. Andre the Giant also jumped that one nicely and Tunisia. Just now being really going into the back, so I'm going to look from the stand. And Velvet Curtain continuing to lead. By, I would say, three lengths, possibly three and a half. Robin cries in second. Then Andre the Giant third into City fourth, and Tunisia fifth. All still in with a shout, I would say. Curtain's lead is down to two. Robin Kral in second. Andre the Giant third. And Cooper the only one with two left on their feet. Velvet Curtain still the leader. Over this ditch, good jump by the leader that time. 
Also Andre the Giant jumped it well and jumped up into second. Rob and Connor back into third into City 4 and Tunisia 5. Over the next they go. We'll jump that one nicely. Velvet Curtain runs straight into that one again. That's a second that she's just run straight through now and that's not going to do her chances any good at all. Uh, there's a lot of impetus over this next ditch. She jumped that one much better but it's going to take its toll all that. All those mistakes. Rob and Carl is now back into second. In Andre the Giant is third into City being pushed along on the outside as Tunisia comes up on its inside and now the race is on in earnest really now with four furlongs to go. And they've still got four more fences to take and Velvet Curtain has been in the lead all the way but has made a couple of really bad mistakes. Let's see how much they've taken out of it. Tunisia's moved through into second Robin Kral is third but coming back into second now. Intercity is also making a bit of a forward move and they get over the fourth last and that time Robin Kral's untidy. It's Velvet Curtain in the lead. There to be shot at though. And Intercity comes up on the outside. Really good jump by Intercity. A fall there. Tunisia's gone. So we're down to four and Intercity jumped into the lead. A really good leap by Intercity at that one. Races to the second last. This time was a bit slower on Velvet Curtain. He's trying to fly back. These two have pulled clear of the rest of them as they come down towards the final fence. It's a short running and the leader pops over it. Intercity gets over that nicely and pulls away to win pretty comfortably. So Intercity takes it for Craig Beckwith. Velvet Curtain is going to be second. Third is Andre the Giant. Fourth is Raman Kral. And they were the only four to finish. So Craig Beckwith has himself another winner. Pretty easy winner as well with Intercity. Velvet Curtain second for Martin Leadham. Back in third was Andre the Giant for Matt Cooper. And fourth was Raman Kral for Padraig Hogan.